It's a dun, 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 dun. The warplane is finally mine. Bloop! What's up, dudes and dudes to the internet? My name's Seth, and we are back again for another trove. Trove! Blah, blah, blah. So I ended up grinding up. Finally, level 50 on the stupid PvP. Ew! It was a lot of fun, but seriously, man, it takes way too long to end up getting this thing. Ew! Ew, 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 ew! We'll use this mount for today and then probably never, ever again. How y'all doing today, though, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So, I got some news. I got some news. I got some news. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Got some news today, folks. Besides, finally ended up grinding out uh, the max PvP. Um, there is... For, for for my character, of course, as you can see, I'm very, very close to 17k power rank, which is very lucky. Even more so than that, I ended up getting another perfect gem. This is a perfect magic fire gem. Absolutely awesome that I ended up gaining it. This one, not so much, but I just need the magic damage like crazy. Uh, and then I'm still rocking this as far as an air gem. I really want to have this one replaced because it's got health regen, which is Uggles. And it also ended up generating where the health regen is the most potent stat on this health gem, or on this air gem. So I really, really want to end up getting uh, a different one, probably a perfect one, or at least one that's going to end up rolling uh, maximum magic damage, right? Because otherwise we don't have enough power. Uh, a couple of things that are going on. I hear whispers about the fact that the Dino Tamer is going to end up being nerfed. I'm naturally assuming that that's going to end up happening uh, once the character ends up finally going live for everybody. They've done this before, they will continue to do it again, where they actually will have a new character be really, really overpowered, so lots of people really like it and want to play with the class, and then as soon as everybody ends up getting it, then suddenly they end up nerfing it. Now, we'll talk about those, uh, the idea behind the nerfs, uh, and just kind of some of the stuff, like, you know, I don't have the patch notes right now, I, I don't know what they're gonna do, so it's just gonna be a little bit of speculation, uh, but most of all, I'm gonna be talking about what difference it's going to make to the Dino Tamer and how he kind of operates right now, now that I've actually got him to a decent power rank and gotten him kind of to the end game, at least as close as I can get, unless I get better RNG. Uh, but before we start that, though, for today... Only gonna be giving away one, everybody, but we are gonna be giving away a Dino Tamer pack. So that is gonna be the whole Jurassic pack. You're gonna end up getting the class, you're gonna get two new biome terraformers, you're gonna get three class gem uh, keys, uh, you're also gonna end up getting the, tri the laser triceratops mount as well. So only gonna be giving away one of those today, folks, just because I, uh, <laughs> I, I, got, I got other stuff that I got cooking in the boiler, so I wanted to just give that away today at least. So if you want that, you're going to have to hit that like button for me. Be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And you don't need to leave your username for this one in particular. You can if you want to, but otherwise we usually just pick out like a funny comment or something like that. Uh, and then the winner will end up getting a reply from my beautiful fiance Scarlet the Spider and also instructions as to how you can actually attain the code because we have to send it to the YouTube messages and stuff. Now, from what I've seen through testing with this guy, oh, I like this dungeon. This one's actually really, really cool, but it's very confusing to try and do it the legit way. I'll see if I can do it. Uh, I've only gone through this dungeon once before with a bunch of people. Uh, so the way that the Dino Tamer seems to work at the end game, unfortunately, is that he's not nearly as varied a class as I originally had hoped. While you can technically end up building the Dino Tamer as a tankier character just because his allies are based off of your max health, yes, uh, he definitely scales more towards DPS. So he is definitely another DPS class. You could, again, you could build him into a tank if you want to. But the fact of the matter is, that's why it's so confusing in this dungeon. The fact of the matter is that there are other tanks that do a better job than the Dino Tamer. So that would be the only reason that I would say not to do it with him. But go right ahead, build the character however you want. Uh, up now? Aha! 
Man, this dungeon's confusing. I like it, though. Um, so, ooh, dude, this is so cool, man. So the way that the character seems to work as far as damage anyways, because that's what I'm building him towards, because I, I tried out the tanking, doesn't really end up working out because the numbers on the allies are garbles, man. They're absolute garbles. They suck. Which kind of kind of is disappointing because from what I hear, they're going to end up nerfing the net in particular with the Dino Tamer. And that is pretty much where he's getting all of his power right now. Now, I have no problem with them nerfing the net. I know that his ultimate is a little bit overpowered. It's definitely stronger than the Shadow Hunter. Um, might end up even being, from what I hear from other people, it's actually stronger than the Gunslinger and stuff. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. But the whole real point is, as you can see, this is pretty much end game dino tamer right here this is how you farm with him you don't throw your dino buddies down you do not fight enemies outside of your ultimate and that's disappointing to me because I really like the idea of using the dino buddies they're so cool you know but the fact of the matter is that they're useless like they absolutely suck like here let me, let me show you this so I'm rocking 71k magic damage, 72.6 uh, crit hit, and 869.3 crit damage, right? Here's Mewtwo. He's supposed to be DPS. He's already dead. <laughs> Here's the net, just on its own, just the normal net that you don't end up charging up. Doesn't stay around long enough to kill an enemy. Takes five years for this other net to charge. We throw that down, it's not killing anything. Doing our normal shots, throwing our net down, fighting things, throwing down babies left and right. We're still slowly getting our butt kicked and draining tons and tons of potions and look how long it's taking. As soon as we activate our ult, go up into his face, hit him with the acid net and just destroy him. That right there, now, uh, uh, like, the whole thing is that the class itself, I'm having a blast with him. I really, really am. Don't get me wrong. But I do not like how he's scaled right now. And the fact that they're going to end up nerfing his net with his ultimate. Now, again, that might not be what they're going to end up changing with him. And it might not end up being that severe a nerf. If it was even a slight nerf, I would be perfectly fine with that in all honesty. I don't really see it as much of a problem. But the fact of the matter is that the rest of his abilities and even the rest of the class, unfortunately, fall short. It is not viable endgame. Like, it's absolute garbage. You know, the, the minions... That was supposed to be the one that was causing damage, and it gets its butt kicked that soon. Uh, and then, even if you end up getting Zapdos, which is the one that I have modded as the, uh, you know... The one that stuns enemies, right? I'm out of pots, let me fly out of here! No, <laughs> Uh, but if you end up getting Zapdos, he's actually not very good either because he'll stun enemies and keep them away from your acid net because you want them to all kind of converge on you so that you can end up getting them uh, into the high damage, right? Uh, and then the Triceratops, Bulbasaur, he's useless as well because while he has 25% uh, extra health than the other minions, sure, he, he doesn't have nearly enough. Like, you, you see this? This is just U9. Imagine with the different multiplications and all that garbage that they got going on in Ultra Towers. Uh-uh. He's useless. The babies are just garbage. Now, the Dino Tamer itself, extremely overpowered in Ultra Towers. Extremely. And that is where most of the complaints are coming from, from what I hear, is most of the people that are talking about the Dino Tamer needing a nerf are the people that are doing, like, uh, Ultra Tower speedruns and all that garbage, right? Not realizing that if he ends up getting nerfed too hard, he's gonna end up, unfortunately, becoming useless for endgame griming. Uh, griming. Grinding. Now, Without getting all deep and stuff like that, because, you know, you can play as whatever class that you want in this game, honestly. The fact of the matter is that I like the fact that he's as powerful as he is right now. Yes, he definitely does need a nerf on his net, especially with his ult. But I really, really hope that they don't take it too far in one direction, because then otherwise uh, there's not really going to be any reason for anybody to have this character outside of the fact that they enjoy his play style. Because the whole reason that the Dino Tamer is uh, so strong at the end game and actually is so much stronger than the Gunslinger as far as dungeon farming is concerned is because of the fact that... Uh, He's got more abilities that are causing damage 
over most of the other classes, you know, because the gunslinger, you're pretty much relying completely on his ult, and you're just doing your basic normal attacks, right? With this guy, you're doing the basic normal attacks and the net of damage, right? Now, again, I'm not trying to get all deep and everything like that because in all honesty, I do not play this game for the numbers. I just play for fun, and I recommend that you all do the same as well. And I just wanted to kind of clue you in, let you know, here's what the end game is as far as, a uh, you know, a... Um, uh, yeah, we're close to 17k, so we're doing all right. You know, he's actually really, really close to my Shadowhunter stats already. I ended up getting so lucky with all the gems on this guy. Um, but I personally would like it if they end up nerfing the net and stuff like that. I would love to see a buff towards his minions. Uh, maybe make them something that's a little bit more viable for actually, like, grinding and stuff. Because as it stands right now, this is pretty much all this class is. <laughs> you know, you don't even use the minions, and where's the fun in that? Either way, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, uh, even though we're kind of overanalyzing stuff. Whatever, I just wanted to let you all know, because I'm uh, I'm fairly happy that I ended up getting uh, the Dino Tamer up to this amount of power so quickly. Now, time will tell whether or not any of this stuff is actually going to be, like, for all I know, they're nerfing his dino babies for no reason because I don't have the patch notes right now or anything like that. Looking forward to the Jurassic Biome, though. Hopefully, it's got more than five dungeons, a.k.a. it was actually like three. Don't worry about it. Either way, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Sign and stay epic.